Hello again everybody. This is a wooden um, fireplace mantle that I picked up on eBay for £10 um, with the intention of attaching it to my uh, chimney breast above where my hob is, just as a shelf. So I had to take it apart and th these were the parts that I thought I was going to use, the actual shelf part and the corbels. I didn't end up using those other two pieces of wood. Um, the shelf was too long, so I cut it down with my jigsaw. I don't have a circular, circular saw yet. I do everything with uh, minimal tools. I had to put the... Um, I, can't remember, I don't know what you call it the decorative edging on the end that I'd cut and I used a sanding uh, blade on my um, ankle grinder. I'd never, I've never done this before. I really didn't know how to do it. I just uh, did the best job I could.
I used the sanding blade on my angle grinder again um, for the underneath of the, no this was actually the top of the shelf because it had lots of uh, hard glue from uh, when, when it had been at the fireplace so I had to get all of that off and I quite like the, the, the idea of making it look a little bit uh, uneven actually the top of the shelf will never be seen but uh, it didn't have to be perfect so this was a really quick way of removing all of that old uh, stain or varnish whatever it was down all over the edges because it was so uh, quite a you know it had clean cuts everywhere so it made it look really new um, and I think if you as soon as you rub off the edges and the corners and round them all off uh, they the piece immediately looks old Here, um, above the cooker, the, the hob, I'm going to fit this piece of wood once it's been cut down. That's where I've marked where the drawings will go, leaving a little bit of an overhang.
So now I'm just uh, the I put the shelving unit on its side. It's been screwed, connected there and there, and I'm I'm just lay I've laid it onto the piece of board on top of it. Um, and now I can draw a line up there, along there, and down there. It does look uneven, but that is actually the same distance as that I checked. And and I can cut out down there and have a rectangle and then when I've done that I can do whatever shape I decide to do. I attached three brass uh, picture hooks, I think they're called, to the back of the shelf, and they could, they had slots. So you, you attach the screws to the wall first, and then you slot the uh, piece onto the hooks. Um, you, 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 hook, you hook the shelf onto the um, three screws sticking out of the wall, and then once it's hooked on, you tighten it. A lot of the weight of the shelf uh, in the end was uh, take, uh, was taken like, by the uh, piece of wood that I attached to the wall. This is the middle hole that I'm just drilling now.
I'm tightening the screws to secure the shelf to the wall and then I put the piece of wood back up and I glue and screw the piece of wood to the underneath of the shelf that's the, the piece of wood on I have actually put a coat of paint on there the same as the wall I may uh, paint it brown I'm, I'm still deciding I haven't finalized the colors yet um, but I can easily take the shelf down I can just uh, loosen the screws and just unhook it to finish off my paintwork and then I'm, I'm going to varnish that shelf I'm very happy with how it, it turned out once again it didn't cost very much but uh, it was a lot of time <laughs> but I like the end result please subscribe to my channel and uh, hit the like button thanks bye